All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Ford Mustang Match E GT. This is the most powerful version that you can get. And today we will make the test drive in this video. Of course, I will have a separate video where you can see the full review, interior, exterior. There you can see more details about the car, price, technical data, exterior, interior, rims, space, and stuff like that. So check out on the channel next days uh, for the full review. So this is the key, a very nice key. I like this horse here, the way they design it on the key. What you can do with the key, you can lock the car, of course, it comes with electric folding mirrors. You can unlock it. The great part is that you can also unlock the trunk and also you can unlock the trunk that it's a, a automatic lift gate much more beautiful exterior design they also improve a little bit of elements here and there bumper spoiler stuff like that but more about that in the other video we have 20 inch rims here nice rims red brake calipers normal brake disc on the rear in the front here the car come with brembo brake discs four pistons you can see the brembo uh writing there and also ventilated brake disc huge brake discs um, now let's go inside the car i like very 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 much the way they design those doors they are so unique you all you have to do is just press this button look at this and the car will unlock the door for you and then this is the handle it's great for aerodynamic and also great for the fanciness I should say it's it's, it's really really cool the door quality it's awesome and also those system work were great this is what I notice when I touch everything I touch in the car feel good quality good build and I like that even the doors here uh, but more about that in the other video we have the GT here on a nice plate normal pedals nice seats combination of kind of uh, in the middle soft Alcantara and here leather on the side I like very much this uh, shoulder support here on the on the upper area I like the way they design it and you have a good good feeling when you are inside the car let's go inside the car close the door we have electric adjustable seats so you can adjust the seats electrically once you are inside the car I will put it all the way down so I will find a, a nice position I know many of you ask me why I drive like this I know but I drive the purpose of driving and array the seat in a way that the camera can see really well here some information about the car before we start by the way if you're in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Emil Frey in Zugville here is the link also the link will be in the description if you want to buy the car see the car test to have the car and if you're in Switzerland check them out they have also a discount here you can see a demo premium this is 3500 francs discount already from the price so the final price will be 78200 francs a little bit expensive but it's an amazing car you will see the driving feeling it's great I don't know why they say here like 601 PS when the car have around 480 PS something that uh, from my information and also 830 newton meters so normally it's 480 horsepower 830 newton meters so if you know guys why is like this tell me in the comments I'm really curious about that uh, also the car come with uh, two electric motors one in the front one on, on the rear it's an all-wheel drive system it's extended battery 98 0.7 kilowatt hour battery a huge battery and the range of the car uh, around 490 kilometers but more about that in the full review video so check out the full review next days uh, there i explain you more details here 20.0 kilowatt hour is the consumption and yeah anyway let's drive the car guys uh, more about that in another video let me put the seat belt first impression is that you have a nice tall driving position here is the start engine button press the brake immediately you can see a nice graphic here on the screen and also in the front there it says put the seat belt I also adjust the steering wheel you can adjust it manually forward uh, backward down and up and I adjust it up so you can see a little bit better we have 100% battery and this is the screen it's a great screen what I notice it's very very responsive and nice I wish although to be tilted to the driver a little bit now the car come with a few driving modes if you go here uh, to the driving modes we have whisper active and untamed that means whisper it's echo active it's like normal mode comfort mode and untamed it's like full power sport mode so uh, one pedal drive you can activate it from here uh, auto ambient light propulsion sound we will leave it on so we can hear that 
uh, alien sound for electric cars and other than that we have the camera 360 degrees camera uh, good resolution that's something that I noticed you can see the sensors you can see in the front you can see in the rear uh, so from here you can also zoom in uh, different parts if you want to zoom in different parts when you drive the car it's very very useful I notice it's really good uh, driver assistance system from here you can activate auto hold additional settings uh, you can go a little bit deeper here and you have all that blind spot technology emergency brake and all that stuff well, everything uh, it's very well array here in the multimedia so if you want to find out more information about that I have a separate video about that but first of all we will drive in uh, eco mode and let's see guys here is the wheel classic wheel uh, that Ford use it also on other models if you want to go in reverse you go in R uh, and then in drive you are in drive and then yeah park it's parking and L here it's the kind of I'm not sure what it is I forget about that I will test it anyway I think it is the recuperation but we will test it because I'm, I'm definitely not sure about that Anyway, let's drive it. It's also activated one pedal drive in case you can see the camera. Camera have relatively good resolution there. I like the fact that it also warn you about the blind spot. This is also a great, great feature. I have to turn around the car, but I'm not allowed to touch those white lines because they paint it right now today going and drive if i press l okay anyway i'm super super curious what it is i just forget and i don't think it's low gear because how they use low gear on other cars it's like when you have a gearbox and you want to fix it in one gear but i think mustang use it for a regenerative brake if i activate it now yes I deactivate it let's see no I don't know I really don't know what is that L I just forget about it. tell me guys in the comment what is this L here I want to find out first impression it's it feels sporty the steering wheel the pedals it's stiffer the suspensions are feel quite heavy in comparison I drive today Toyota BZ4X and it was so comfortable so smooth and this one it feels quite sporty it's a big difference between those two uh, it feels super super sporty and also the suspension even though we have independent McPherson in the front multi-link on the back good suspension but they even in whisper mode they kind of fix it uh, to be quite sportier uh, it's a GT version of course and probably that's why they also stiffness the suspension a little bit more oh my god the acceleration it's it's crazy guys I mean if we go to zero is nobody behind wow oh my god oh my goodness <laughs> It's even more powerful than my Tesla Model 3 long range. But holy shit! Whoo! And the brakes are, are so so responsive. The brakes. It's it's for I think those brakes are the most responsive brakes. Oh my god, how they do that. I don't know how they do that. You have to try this. How they manage to make those brakes so so powerful. It's it's much more powerful than what you find in Tesla in terms of brakes and wow the, the car it's really stop uh, in, in a short place it's incredible and also the uh, the way they push you in the back it's crazy responsive and we are in whisper I mean it, we we don't even are in untamed in sport mode crazy feeling the steering of course it's 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 port here it's nice it gives you that heavy feeling of driving a sporty car and I think uh, someone who will buy this car uh, really want that feeling if we go in active mode active is balance mode you know like you have a little bit of comfort a little bit of sportiness you have to look man 
we have to pay attention in the roundabout even when uh, they don't <laughs> even when you have priority you have to pay attention that's why I have like 16 17 years driving the car without any accident because I always take care for me and I take care for other people and I you have to take care also when you don't have priority so always it's, it's, it's the best for everybody and for your car now we are in balance the steering is the same oh my god but the acceleration is totally different wow wow and you have that sound the sound is different from down here propulsion sound it's like like a powerful uh, petrol engine it's uh, it's that muscle car mustang sound you hear it i don't know if you can hear it but it's ooh. and i feel an emptiness in my stomach right now <laughs> i'm not sure if because i didn't eat or because of the car but i think it's because of the car <laughs> i'm joking i eat before turning circle around 11 meters it's a good turning circle it feels nice it's nice it's it's crazy powerful i'm scared to push the acceleration and also i'm in active mode i didn't even go in sport mode and i'm quite scared to press it anymore but the steering is the same in, in almost all modes it feels a little bit stiffer if we go in sport mode right now the steering i think it's kind of the same maybe a little bit slightly stiffer and the pedal it's very 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 good whoa wow also the graphic on the on the co on the digital cockpit is changing depending on which driving mode you are and I like that one pedal drive on this car it's like stop completely if you accelerate and you take the foot of the acceleration it will go to a completely stop and will activate auto hold this is a good thing that not all electric high electric cars have and I like that look at this for example I hope I hope I hope I hope it will stay red look at this and now it's go to a stop and boom auto hold it's on and it stays completely wow but this this propulsion sound it's 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 awesome i think the people will love this sound it's that mustang sound i don't know if you know what i mean if you can hear it on the camera the handlings are are really good i can feel that it stays really good on the road Also, we will try a little bit later the lane assist. Fabulous. I like it. I like the car, I tell you. I really love it. And again, it's like nobody behind. Holy shit. Whew. It's hard. It's hard to do that. I don't know how many people will love you to do that. It's much more powerful than my then my Tesla Model 3 long range it's it's a crazy feeling it's like the car is floating it's an all-wheel drive system but I feel it's so powerful that even the the, the front wheel it's slippering a little bit sometimes depend uh, depend on the position of the car I guess and the way you accelerate but it is it's, it's incredible the feeling I I don't know I totally believe now it's 601 PS uh, but I'm not sure why they say like that shit man it's, it's super powerful let me try the lane assist set up the lane assist here how I activate it come on man help me out now it's good activate to 50 kilometers and now the car autopilot it's on the car should keep between the lanes and it's doing a good job uh, better than Toyota 
busy forex oh my god but the brakes are crazy aggressive wow i just press the brake and it's it's whoa you, it's so sensitive the pedal you have to really pay attention there oh my god it's it's crazy sensitive it's crazy sensitive the pedal Let, let me go back to whisper maybe the the brake it's a little bit more smoother you know but they are i think those are the most powerful brakes i don't know how they set it like that on an electric car that i test until now this is a good thing i mean you stop really fast but it's sometimes it's aggressive if you didn't press the the brake slowly, you know. Oh, I like the car. I like how how aggressive it is, even in, in normal mode. It's it's super aggressive. The handlings are great, and I think on the high speed. Uh, it's perfect the handling is perfect for the high speed you know I like it also set up again the cruise control here yeah you can see uh, it has all this autopilot adaptive cruise control look at this it's also show you there a nice graphic uh, when it can drive itself and it stays between the lanes this system for highway it's perfect you should test it out it's really good I see that it stays quite quite nice between the lanes keep the hand on the steering wheel and also when the car in front is braking this car will brake as well press the brake and then take the control of the car oh, lovely car incredible aggressive like a Moscow car should be and Mustang keep that incredible tradition of extreme extreme uh, fast and aggressive cars there's nobody behind well, yeah we can try again oh boy oh boy it's really really fast wow Wow, it's nice. It's, it's really nice. You have to try it out. If you are on the market for an extreme fast car, that's why probably the range of the car from almost 100 kilowatt hour battery, it's 490 kilometer because it's crazy fast. And I still have 100% battery. Oh my God. We start with 100% battery and we finish with 100% battery. And you see how I drive until now. It's just, ooh surprisingly I'm, I'm really quite surprised to see that what how is that possible put it in park electronic handbrake is here that was the test drive guys you can see still 100 percent i'm i'm impressed i'm impressed really i'm impressed with the battery um probably this battery will last for a long long time uh, I think they set it out pretty good. Anyway, that was the test drive, guys. If you have questions, ask me down below, whatever you want to ask. Also, my rating for this Mustang Match E GT version from 1 to 10 will be 9.9. .9. Why 9.9? .9? Because it's a GT, it's a sporty car, and it delivers what it promised. <laughs> oh, I have an emptiness in the stomach. Even for me, it's too much. And I, I like adrenaline, I like fast driving. I'm not having any problem with those kind of stuff it's really brutal you should test it definitely it's a nice car it's a great car anyway guys uh, if you're in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Emil Frey in Sukville I will leave the link in the description if you want to test drive the car see the car buy the car check them out um, also um, I will have a separate video full review interior exterior with the same car you can check out their material quality space in the back space in the trunk everything about the car you will find out there and also technical data so 
check out that video probably it's on the channel if it's not will come next day so uh stay close click the subscribe to see the notification uh thank you for watching i hope the video was useful don't forget to like share subscribe stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys Thank you.